Welcome to Demystifying Math. In this lesson, we're going to be finding equations for lines in polar form. Let's start with the general equation of a line. We have y equals ax plus b, where a is the slope and b is the y-intercept. We're going to change this to polar form by letting x equal r cosine theta and y equal r sine theta. So we have r sine theta equals a r cosine theta plus b. And next we're just going to isolate r. We can do this by bringing a r cosine theta over to the other side. Next we're going to factor out the r. So we have r sine theta minus a cosine theta equals b. And then we'll divide b by sine theta minus a cosine theta. And we get a general form for the equation of a line in polar form where a is your slope and b is the y-intercept. So if we have the equation r equals 3 over sine theta minus 2 cosine theta, our slope is 2 and our y-intercept is 3. So that gives us the line at 2x plus 3 equals y. We're going to plug in some points to plot this graph. So if we let theta equal 0, we end up with negative 3 over 2, or negative 1.5. Next, I'm going to plug in pi over 6. And I'm going to estimate that so I can graph it. And this is at negative 2.435, approximately. And next, we're going to plug in pi over 4. And we get about negative 4.2. At pi over 3, we get approximately negative 22.39. And at pi over 2, we get 3. So I went ahead and plotted those points. And what you can see is that they all are in line. So they created the line y equals 2x plus 3. If you have a horizontal line, your slope is 0. So I replaced a with 0 in our equation. And it simplifies to r equals b over sine theta. Or you can write r sine theta equals b, where b is the y-intercept. So let's do an equation. We have r sine theta equals 3, or r equals 3 over sine theta. So I plotted some points, and you can see that they lined up horizontally. At pi over 6, we get 6. At pi over 2, we get 3, our y-intercept. And at 5 pi over 6, we have 6. If you have a vertical line, then you end up with the equation r cosine theta equals c, where c is the constant, or the y-intercept, or in this case, where it touches the polar axis. So we have r cosine theta equals 3, or r equals 3 over cosine theta. And you can see those points lined up vertically. So we had points at 3, 0, which is our x-intercept, 6 pi over 3, and 6 and negative pi over 3. Thank you for watching Demystifying Math.